Okay, after multiple requests, I finally got time to film the video I really wanted to film, and that is how to download those older version apps. So you can see here on my iPhone 4 S, let me just unlock this thing for you guys. I always have a bunch of, uh, let me see if I can lower the brightness, uh, that's super bright because the phone, the iPhone is not picking up the brightness. Let's see if it just, yeah. Okay. There we go. Um, you can see all the games I have on here. There's really older apps, like the older Instagram, even the older Snapchat, Discord, Minecraft, GTA 3, right? All these older games that you might not be able to download. These apps might be telling you stuff like, you know, here's the old Xbox One app. This is the definitely you cannot download anymore. Um, apps might be telling you things such as, you know, this is no longer supported or your device needs to be updated. So what happened in that little button? Uh, you might remember it said download the older version of this app. Well, Apple's kind of removed it for a couple reasons. Safety mainly, probably, and licensing, I bet you. The fact that some of these old apps, like the Xbox app, might not have the securest login and updated security features as the latest versions on your newer devices like iOS 15. So that could be a reason why, stuff like that. Also to force people maybe to update their phones. But with City of Geoworks, you can bring that back. And that's what I've been doing on this phone here. So I'm going to show you on how to do this on iPad. And I might, might even do it on my original iPhone here which I had the original Snapchat on here. So on this one, it's super useful because the Apple didn't introduce that feature to even download the older version of apps until iOS 4. And you won't believe this thing, but I didn't even get iOS 4. I can show you that real quick. I can just turn the brightness down again. Brightness is super high on this one. Uh, type in the general here and about. And then you can see it's on 3.1.3. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna need a computer of some sort, whether that be a, a Mac, like a Mac mini, here's a Mac mini. Uh, <laughs> and you're gonna need a way to jailbreak your stuff. The finest way and the best way I recommend doing it is just via 3U tool. So I'm gonna use the iPad 2 for this demonstration as it's a big screen and it's on iOS 9, to show you that quickly. So this app, so there's a lot of things I can't download and you might notice as well, if you have an iPad 2, uh, which a lot of people do, you'll know that a lot of apps just say they can't be downloaded. So you can see here, uh, in, uh, 9.3.5. So let's plug it into my Windows machine here and we'll switch the camera over to that angle. There we go, and we're gonna trust that. All right, let's see, yeah, let's switch over here. All right, so here's my computer, just move the camera over and you can see my screen here. I'm on my laptop here, I'm on Windows 11, as you can see. And I'm gonna head over to the website, three usual, I'm just gonna pop that into anywhere, whether that be Google or whatever browser you're using. And you should see, it should be the first one, no, so it should look like this. I'll leave a link in the description. I'll just copy and paste it there. And this is the tool I'm using to jailbreak. You can use whatever tool you want, but this is the one I recommend. It's pretty simple and fast, and it's basically really easy. Uh, I'm gonna turn the brightness up for you guys. There you go. And you're just gonna open the file up and uh, continue with the installation here. It's gonna bring up that, yes. Let it run its little thing here. Make sure you plug your device in, of course. And uh, you'll need iTunes to be installed, so make sure you install that in advance, or it'll actually install it for you, depending on if you don't have it or not. Uh, let's see, here we got three U tools, and it's gonna just give you a little warning, saying make sure your device is you know powered on, is working. And there you can see it. There's my iPad 2, right? You can see, and it's not jailbroken. Jailbroken is no. You can see that. Hopefully, let me zoom in there. See, it says jailbroken, no. So what we're gonna do, depending on your device, again, I'll even do it to the iPhone 2G. Uh, we're gonna hit jailbreak now. So this is gonna do it right away basically. It's gonna continue and we can switch over to the iPad in a second here. Windows is gonna bring up an error now. This is what you're gonna see in a quick second here. It's gonna bring up a little security error and we're just gonna have to decline that and let it, you're gonna have to turn off real-time protection. You can do that actually right now by swiping searching real-time, oh no, you might have to search up actually the uh, Windows. So I shall Windows and go to Windows Security. Go and open that up. Then over to threat and protection and just go into viruses and threat protection and turn off real-time protection. You can turn this on back on right away. I promise you it's not a virus. It just seems like a virus. And now you're going to select your jailbreak. So it's going to bring a little jailbreak menu here. It's going to show you which one support what. So this one you can see does support this version of iOS. iOS 9.3.5 to 9.3.6. That's for iPhone, I'm sorry, iPad 2s and iPhone 4S is basically, I don't believe any of the devices are on these OSs. If you're on this one still, maybe on your iPhone 6, uh, then yeah, of course you can do it and go ahead and do that. Uh, run the jailbreak then, it's gonna download some stuff and then we can bring up the iPod here, I mean the iPad here. And you can see it side by side, it should pop up a little menu in a second telling me to do something. 
So if it goes for it. Um, again, you have any option to jailbreak. And uh, this feature really is not very useful in something like, you know, an iPhone 7 that's on iOS 15.2. Um, it's basically useless, actually. You can see it's switched over a menu here and it's probably right into the settings app without me even doing anything. You're now done with the computer. You will not need a computer. So again, any way you want to jailbreak, it's up to you. So let's switch the camera back over here and uh, reorganize this a bit more so I can point it more at the actual iPad. Okay, let's bring this up here. And we can actually unplug it just from the computer just to cause any uh, iTunes not to make sure it doesn't do anything weird with it. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trust this. It's gonna say this little Phoenix app. Just hit trust. Don't worry, it's safe. You're gonna be connected to the Wi-Fi and you need to do that, so don't be surprised. And you're gonna head home now. Now, you're gonna see this app on your home screen called Phoenix. It's a new one. I'm gonna click on ahead and click on that. It's gonna say it's not jailbroken. You're 2.1 iPad 2.1 is now you're going to hit prepare for jailbreak. It's almost like you're launching a rocket of some sort. You're going to hit accept to the terms and conditions. You can go ahead and read those if you'd like. And they offer you a nice little mixtape here if you want to listen to that in your own time. I am personally not going to right now. It's going to say proceed with jailbreak at the very bottom here. And it's going to install Cydia now. Begin installation. It's going to say prepare and jailbreak. And just use the pre-selected uh, presets. It's going to run some stuff. And it will reboot the iPad. Uh, and iOS. So this again, of course, works on stuff like an iOS 10 device. Here's an iPhone 5. This will work on there, of course. There you go. Go ahead and check this out. I don't have it installed, though, at the moment. Uh, City, I will jailbreak this as well. I do have it installed, but it's not actually set up properly. But it'll let you again download all the version apps. Um, this can also be done, of course, on iOS 6 devices, and 3U Tools does that, along with iOS 10 and 11, and of course, I was three, which we'll do in a second here. This is the more cool one. This is an original iPhone. So all these apps are really old apps, like old, old versions, which I find really fun. And just messing around with them is nice. Let's hopefully this thing boots up a bit faster. That'd be nice. I'll leave a link to the city of thing in a second. We'll see if this can get there at least. Hoping we don't get any errors because I don't want to have to film this again with a different device. Okay, it looks like we're finally back in here. Hopefully everything went to plan. If it didn't, we might have to redo the jailbreak. That sometimes happens. We're on the home screen now. And we're just gonna sit here and hopefully... Okay, so it didn't work this time. Don't worry. Uh, normally give it a couple seconds. Sometimes it'll just come back if you turn the iPad off and back on. If it doesn't, you can always just do it right here into Phoenix again and click Kickstart Jailbreak. This sometimes happens just as it says first time. And then it'll redo it. And you just use provided offsets. Let it run its thing. And then hopefully should we get, we're actually gonna charge the iPhone for us up here because it does need juice. Iconic sound, nice. Let's hope it does it this time. I'll cut the video again to make sure, hopefully, you know. Okay, I hope it works this time. I don't know, uh, I'm gonna check, please. No, um, give it a second again. Uh, sometimes it takes a couple, maybe a minute or so just to pop up and actually decide to do what it's supposed to do. Kickstart it again if you want. I know it's really frustrating having to deal with this. Uh, but you know, there it's undeniably that this is gonna happen over and over. So we're gonna do it one more time. Hopefully this time it does it. Okay, so we're gonna have a bit of problem. My iPad for some reason, I think it's just my iPad, but it seems to be acting up with the Phoenix jailbreak and not even liking it at all. Uh, I mean, it thinks it's jailbroken. Look, I hop in the Phoenix app and it even says, oh. Uh, Dudley, this is the, <laughs> Here you go. So it thinks it's jailbroken, but uh, if you clearly can see on the home screen, there is no jailbreak installed. I'm even searching for uh, Cydia. Just brings up litter. No. So we're going to do it on the iPhone 5, and so, which is fine. Uh, you know, it still works on here. So I've just done the exact same thing I did with the iPad, and that is just go through Cydia, I mean, uh, through three tools on the computer here, and then installed uh, Cydia via this jailbreak here, Helix. Uh, and I can click on Helix here. And we're gonna jumpstart the jailbreak because it's already on here already. So here you go, it's iOS 10 compatible. We're gonna hit jailbreak. It's gonna patch some stuff. The same thing again. So it's gonna bring up the degree. It's basically the exact same as Phoenix, except for iOS 10. Cool, so we're just gonna do that quickly. And then I'll show you guys the replay of that. That's probably what you're really looking for. If you just wanna skip that, it's in the description. Go ahead and just copy that and paste it in or type it in. Uh, but we'll add that in a second here. Uh, this is taking its time. 
and uh, let's see what it does here. This might take a second here, just to load. Oh, we go. I felt the vibration. We should be up here. Let's see. Unlock it. And if we uh, swipe over, I already saw a city is already done on here, so it should just be there it is. Yeah, let's hope it works. Uh, oh yeah, seems like we're working here. Yep, storage almost full, that's fine. Just click done on that. Uh, that's fine. Okay, let's head over to sources now, and let's add the source. So we're gonna hit edit under your sources page here. You're gonna click, oh, still doing stuff. You gotta wait for all this stuff. When the first time it's gonna ask you to download some stuff, just go ahead and hit download all packages and everything, and then you should be good. We're gonna hit edit. In the top corner here and add now in the add box you're gonna add this repo right here when you pull up the note i even saved it um where's the note oh there it is notepad just have it in the notepad uh you can see it there we're gonna add that repo let me just tilt my camera up here and i'll zoom in for you guys so you can copy that oh all right it's in the description as well so I'm going to type that in for you guys right here, just Cydia dot in box I play box I play games dot UK. That uh, comma at the end is not there. Okay, it's going to say verifying. And it's gonna do a bunch of things now. This is what it should look like. Just hit add source. And it should start to look like this until the tripod. Then there you go. It should say return to Cydia now. Um, there you go. And you should have this one here. IPG Cydia repo. Click on that. Click all packages. Oh, give it a second. Sometimes it takes a bit to load here. Um, let's see if it'll go through. I'm really not having much luck with this stuff, am I? Um, I'm gonna relaunch Cydia real quick. Hopefully that fixes that. Uh, but just, you know, relaunch Cydia if it's not loading that. It should load it right away for you guys. That doesn't work. I have it already on my iPhone 4, so I'll just show you it on there. But uh, you can see it right of the repo and it works. Uh, might just be because this phone is older and it's not... Well, not older, but uh, it's just not working with the connection, maybe. Yeah, it's not popping up. Okay, well, that's fun. Um, here, let me see if the iPad did it yet. No. Okay, we'll just use the iPhone 4. <laughs> so... Pretending that we're still continuing on with that. I know we've been through a couple of devices here. But, you know, go back into your Cydia. i got to find it on this one. I've hidden it somewhere. Oh, there it is up here. And this one is a permanent jailbreak, so I shouldn't have to jump start or anything. Go ahead and load into uh, Cydia, whatever device you're using, of course. And go into your sources. And then you should have, you know, this IPG Cydia repo. There it is. It's the same one. Uh, you can even read the code there if you want. Hopefully, uh, everything's okay, though. Yeah, because it doesn't seem to be working here. A bunch of errors just popped up on this one. I don't know. Hopefully we're good. There it is. You can see it's the same repo. Cydia dot uh, invox iplaygames.uk slash. There it is. And now you can see now this one actually loads everything. Just click on all packages at the top here. Oh, there's that Discord classic thing if you're wondering. It's in the social page. And this gives you the iOS 5 Discord client. Really cool. How into all packages here. And you're going to see this first one right here. Checkmate stores can be into C. You're gonna click that, you're gonna modify, and you're gonna click install. Uh, mine says reinstall because I've already installed it. I can actually do that for you though, if you really guys wanna see it. You're gonna hit install, it's gonna bring this whole menu up, you're gonna hit confirm. Now give it a second here, it's gonna reload some data, and it might, uh, I think it respring's your phone real quick. Now what this is gonna let you download, uh, let you download older versions of apps. This is gonna bring that pop up again, except it's actually gonna work this time. I'll even show you, I'll delete one of the apps I've installed already. I'll delete the uh, Xbox app, I guess, and just reinstall that because I know that doesn't work. I don't even think it works on iOS 10. I can quickly show you. Uh, Xbox, let's see if it'll let us do it here. This will just prove that this app does not support older iOS and iOS. We'll just delete it quick from here. Whoops. Uh, delete it. Delete. And we'll head in the App Store now uh, right here. And we'll go in the App Store on this one as well. Hopefully, I don't have to enter my password or anything. And we'll just search up Xbox. And uh, and here we'll also do Xbox. So on the iPhone 2G, it also works, which is nice. Xbox, there it is. Um, I 
don't know which one's gonna, I doubt Game Pass is gonna work. I assume it's gonna be this one. I don't know why it's saying I have to install it. And it's not just saying, um, and my password here. I don't know why it's not just saying, uh, uh, just let me do it. So I don't, let's see here, it'll load in here. Okay, this one does let me download, which is nice. Oh my God, everything's popping up now. Can I just let me download it, please? I was 12 or later. Okay, just, you can install this one, right? Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, go away. Thank you. Hope you guys can still see. There you go, look at that. There it is. I was 12 or later, of course, but I can download the older version. And I can click download. Now this will install, it's not gonna look like that, it'll look like that same app. There you guys go. So sorry that took forever to get there. We finally got there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Go ahead and leave a comment down below what you guys want me to do. I actually have a couple of videos planned with this Mac Mini that I quickly mentioned. This bad boy here is a 2009 Mac Mini I got for free. I just got, I just ordered an install USB off uh, eBay. So we're gonna hope this thing still works and uh, I've got some videos planned for this. Uh, you know, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.